Let's work through example for a reaction that follows first order kinetics. Let's look at this uh, uh, problem statement. Uh, we have a reduction of vitamin C in uh, juice during storage. Uh, the reaction is known to follow first order kinetics. So data were obtained for ascorbic acid concentration for an 18 day period. Uh, determine the rate constant and also the manufacturer would like to declare vitamin C concentration of 15 milligram per 100 milliliter on the label. For how long would the claim be valid from the day of manufacture? So first we will enter the experimental data on ascorbic acid concentration that is given to us in the problem statement from 0 to 18 days in the spreadsheet. So we have values of uh, 50, 40 and so on for the ascorbic acid concentration that was measured at 3 day intervals. Next we will create a new column under C and label it as natural log of A and then we will enter a function equal in uh, cell C2 as natural log and then for the number we will use a number from cell B2 and thus we will obtain natural log of 50 as 3.912023 in cell C2. Next we will copy and paste the value from cell C2 into all the cells down to cell C8 and thus we have created a column where the ascorbic acid concentrations that were given in column B are now converted into natural log of A. The reason we do that is because we are going to plot natural log of A versus the time. So we will go ahead and highlight the column A as well as column C Note that you can do that on a PC by keeping the control key pressed while you select the cells from these two columns. Next from the menu we will select insert and then the scatter diagram and we will obtain then a plot of natural log A versus time. We will right click on one of the points and then with from the dialog box we will add trend line and then from the trend line dialog box we will select linear for the plot and also we will select display equation on chart and display r squared value on chart. So we have on our plot a straight line that is plotted for the data points as well as the R square value and the equation. Note that the R square value of 0.9904 tells us that we have a very good fit for the data expressed on this chart and the slope is minus 0 0.051 and we can enter that also on the spreadsheet and since the slope is the rate constant, the first order rate constant, we can also enter that in our uh, spreadsheet as k and the value of 0 0.051. Now we go back to our earlier problem statement and so from the spreadsheet we have obtained k equals 0 0.051, the units are day raised to power minus 1, so that answers the first question in this problem and then to determine the time to reach 15 milligram per 100 milliliter we will use the expression we obtained before in a separate tutorial for first order reactions that TS the shelf life equals natural log A0 over AE where A0 is the initial concentration AE is some final concentration divided by the first order rate constant. Now the initial concentration is 50 milligram per milliliter 
and the final concentration is the manufacturer's claim, which is uh, 15 milligram per 100 milliliter, and then divided by 0 0.051, and that gives us 23.6 days. So the claim will be valid for 23.6 days.